Hello and welcome to my garden. It is tea time uh, in early July and it's all very English and the sun is shining. Um, there's a sort of gentle bubbling of clouds above our heads and there's a music festival about a mile in that direction that you're just warming up. I think that uh, we've got Wilco Johnson later and those of us who are as old as I am will remember Dr. Feelgood from the late 70s uh, and will be dreaming of milk and alcohol. Um, anyway, not the point. The point is basically that I thought that everything is actually looking not too bad right here. It's a very, I mean, as you know, it's a very, very young garden. It's, it's under a year old. This time last year we were covered in mud and builders. But there's a couple of things of which I am quite proud and one of them uh, are the opium poppies. Uh, we've had opium poppies oh, for years and years and years at Black Pits we had them and we brought them with us. We basically brought a bucket full of seeds and, and uh, Slash and my wife has been spreading them around all over the place and some of them have germinated and some of them haven't. So I thought we can go and visit them. There's one particular opium poppy which is this dark, dark, dark purple one. Uh, and the seed pod for that came, do you remember a television programme that Dan Pearson made called A Year at Home Farm? That's where those poppies came from and we've kept them going all this time. Uh, so, should we have a quick wander around? Okay, some of you may remember this area which is the gravel garden that I did a film about planting it, Ooh, I don't know, whenever it was, a few months ago anyway. Uh, and so this is it, sort of just beginning to get into its stride. Uh, all the plants are still quite small. But we've got quite a nice sort of covering and then uh, that then goes up into pretty much the only bed that I've actually done. So so then we go over here and here are well here is is is, is an outbreak of really rather delicious poppies uh, that run all the way along this bed. So so that we did have white alliums, you can just see the heads of them. And then there are these poppies, and then it goes on to Monada, and then Salvia, and then drifts off in that direction, and over there is the greenhouse that I think I've shown you before. That's doing quite well. Um, and then there's a little sort of terrace down in that direction. I seem to have left my tripod on the table, I apologize. Uh, and then up there is the sedum roof. You remember we looked at that last year? Uh, and just after that had been done. In fact, it was actually the first one of these films that I made for you. And then this is a new hedge. And that hedge is basically there in order to conceal, yeah, the washing line. doesn't do it yet, but it will do. Uh, and uh, it's good not to do too much in the first year of a new garden because you can see what's there, like that rather lovely Philadelphus that's uh, appeared and is flowering and smelling amazing. Uh, and then we have this sort of bank which has got some laurels, all the nice tree peony, and then more poppies. However, if I go too close to this bank, you will see that the whole thing is not green lushness, but actually almost entirely weeds. And I planted some trees and some shrubs and some herbaceous stuff in there. Uh, and I'm basically going on the principle that provided that they don't die, then they will become bigger. Um, and provided that I pull out any weeds that have seeds, then they will not return next year. So this is, this is the principle and the idea. So, so from a distance, it looks green and lovely. We get a bit closer, which I will give you a privileged view, you will see that there is an awful lot of weed in here. But hey-ho, uh, there's plenty of time to uh, get rid of it. So that's a quick whistle-stop tour of what's happening out there. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm going to go and sit down and see which bands are playing over there and, and watch the tennis. Um, because it's that kind of lazy, 